I think just like that, we're going to be moving on into the actual match here. Yep, winner semis. Uh, so Tilda favored to win, but I definitely think numbers could do this. Yeah, uh, numbers can actually do it. I definitely agree with you, especially again, getting a hot second place finish already, getting warmed up for the big event. But wow, that's a amazing uh, string, an amazing DI from numbers just to stay alive. And this is still Falco off stage. A really good chance here for numbers to turn this around. Yeah, and is he dead? No, oh, man. Okay, the blast zone's on a. Uh, on top. Oh, <laughs> oh. That was so ugly. <laughs> what a down it's, it's one of those things where, like, it makes sense when you think about it, how, why physically that happens, but it just looks so gross and ugly, and I will never understand it. Yeah, that's the kind of hit that hits you. It should take two stocks off of the board. That looks brutal. I mean, I don't even know if Tilda needs two stocks taken off of Numbers because I was confident Numbers was going to be able to do it, but no, this is looking really bad for him at the moment. He hasn't even touched Tilda since he respawned. Finally gets that first hit in, but it's just... Uh, I, Tilda is just... Gets combos, his spacing in neutral, everything is just looking so good right now. That's a death! Yeah, oh wow, three stocks to one right here again. Tilde uh, winning the last three weeks for good reason, man. This guy is an absolute beast. Look at this. <gasps> Woo Look, the creative pressure pulls off just to... Yeah. It took so much damage. Yeah, that sun beat going back in your face. And uh, we actually saw numbers kind of go ham on Dill on this very stage in the winner's quarters. That, uh, he's just going kind of crazy on Town and City, so he must be very comfortable here. Yeah, but there are certain advantages that uh, Fox does have. The fact that... Oh, okay. I mean, I don't even have a chance to talk about it. I didn't even KO screen right there. I think she could have jumped in up beat, but... Uh, um, I think he didn't have a jump. Oh, that must have caught it right, right out of the jump. Uh, Let's get a, a replay here. on this. I think he got his jump snatched from him. Yeah, I, I would believe it. Like, leave it. It's kind of like... First, yeah, so... Plays with fire a lot of the time at the ledge, you know? Yeah. I think he... Yeah, got there it is. Jumped. Yeah. Yep. That was it. Uh, Does the kill screen take into account whether you've jumped or not? No, the thing is, okay, so uh, it's not going to take that into account yeah. because if he did have his jump, he's making it back. So uh, unfortunate stuff for numbers, but uh, that's going to be uh, an amazing three stocks to start game one, man. Tilde is just poised for another like hot victory, and Zom is waiting for the winner. And I think it's worth noting, numbers is, you know, he's notorious, very well known for his ledge play, specifically to putting himself on the ledge willingly. but. Two of those stocks, at least, came from the ledge between the back air and, as you saw right there, the actual down air to take oh. it. At the ledge, numbers is not safe. Tilde is the one in control, and I don't even know. He's still willingly putting him there, but, oh, I don't know at what cost. At what point does numbers fear the ledge? Yeah, trying to get that ledge trap and not going to get too much off of it, but uh, really good answer with the get-up attack. Numbers, though, is on notice. Oh, I like that bait. I think he was trying to bait Numbers into going for a ledge jump, but he did not actually fall for it. And now Numbers with some stage control, but I think he wanted to go for a side B or something like that, hoping for an air dodge. But no, Tilde knows that he can be aggressive right now. And this aggression is just working out fantastically. The pressure from in front, behind, still catching Numbers. That up smash putting Tilde with a huge lead right here. Yeah, yeah, amazing lead, and we saw how dominant he was in game one. He just kind of tried to pick up this momentum and try to meet Zamba again for a rematch of Wednesday. All right, that number is getting the deep breathing. I think that's very important. He needs to be figuring out how he's going to get this kill, and oh, I think he was expecting Tilda to jump, but no, Tilda with the roll behind. He's staying, like, the, the fact that he is being very aerial, but not when Numbers is expecting. Numbers has anti-air options, but he's not landing them against Tilde. No, yeah, not landing that at all. And now we're in a very scary spot here. Numbers, man, he just can't get in. I finally gets a bit of an opening, but... He didn't have deep breathing, so there was no way that forward t forward throw was going to actually take it. He's still looking, just still trying to find it. Definitely, I think forward tilt is usually the option that we see numbers go for. And, oh, no invincibility. Yeah, he, 
I like that idea from Tilde, where he went to try and actually challenge Numbers off stage, knowing that Numbers could just punish him for having no invincibility, but Numbers anticipated it. I think just reacted with that side B. Oh yeah, and here he is Tilde once again taking a stock with the up smash. Very comfortable and confident with the lead. That's yeah, the second up smash kill we've seen also. If it, you know Numbers not dying at the ledge anymore, it doesn't matter though. Tilde has options, all sorts of ways to put on the hurt. Oh, here we go. The combo started coming out, and now you're in the cutscene animation, the one-player game. I will say that actually when it comes to Falco's combos, it's more of a mini game of you try to smash DI, you try to DI, try to mix him up. Because, I mean, there's no, you're probably still getting hit by something, but you can at least try to make it a lot harder for him to get those really big combos. Yeah, but it's, it's seeming like nobody in Tri-State, at least nobody at the Xeno tournaments, is having an answer to this bird, man. I don't know what is going on, but uh, he just knows the right combos, knows the right advantage, and uh, looking like he's going to go up 2-0 right now. Oh, but Numbers looking pretty decent. Oh. I'm surprised he lived that. Can Numbers actually close the deal, though? Oh. He held down just slightly, putting him past the ledge and giving him, alleviating that pressure. Oh, Tilde alive at 139. Ooh, well, the header, not enough, and now he's got a re-grab. Yeah. 2-0 advantage here for Tilde here in winter semis. Yeah, and numbers. You saw he even tried to go for that swiggly little recovery. You know, WeFit has a lot of room to just like just wiggle back and forth as she's hula hooping. But kind of just recognizing that he could hold that down smash. Numbers can hold the L. Yeah, yeah, numbers just getting way too greedy right there, I think. Yeah, I didn't have a whole lot of options right there. Goodbye, that charge and hands off the ledge. You are done. You are down to a. Yeah, Numbers going to be sticking with the Wii Fit. It does feel like, I mean, there's always the potential that Numbers can blow them up. We haven't really seen it, but deep breathing Wii Fit is, uh, it's gross. No, I agree with you, man. This is uh, looking very scary. It's like once we, the Wii Fit trainer is, has the deep breathing, it's just basically like a big game of keep away. Uh, and uh, either way, Tilde just doesn't seem to be in any like like scared positions, not really getting any panic options, just going for that first block and snowballing the lead in his favor. Yeah, but I do like the fact he just kind of slow it down once he... Uh Oh, okay. He does slow it down once he sees the deep breathing is in effect. Not necessarily running away, but not Woo. being as aggressive as he may be. Woo. <gasps> Woo. That combo was beautiful. Yeah, that was such a clean string coming out for the bird. Oh, numbers. I think he actually went for an A landing there to avoid the tech chase. It doesn't matter. Tilde able to chase him down regardless. And that's going to be a back air to take the sock. Numbers needs to find a way to even things up here without getting put through the grinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, uh, wow. Almost going to get the edge guard scenario, man. Numbers just doesn't have an answer to this bird. And this is similar to game one where Numbers felt like he was being trapped at the ledge. And, oh, just barely getting clipped by that up B. Everyone thinks that up B is so punishable, yet Tilde able to just, between the angles and the timing, and, oh, why would you, in his face? Okay. Oh, my goodness, man. This is looking terrifying. And catching that roll on the stage. Bad roll, John Numbers. That's going to put you one stock to three. And, I don't know, going to try to get the deep breathing, try to make something happen with the stock. I mean... Okay, there goes down the first stock, but Numbers is, he, he is really struggling right now. And it's, this is not like a round one, you know? John Numbers, one of the best players out here in New York for honestly almost a decade. And he's kind of just getting mixed right now. Tilde, his dominance is being solidified right here, right now, as Numbers struggles to get anything started, and he is in complete control. Yeah, man, we've a trainer known for going to ledge pretty often, but even for those standards, has been seen a lot more frequently. Now Numbers putting himself in a disadvantage right now. Woo wow, the damage coming out from Tilde. Numbers once again trapped at the ledge, willingly putting himself there. Oh, but we see the down airs. Tilde looking for maybe a down air to down air. Just end this set. Oh, there's down air one. Oh, Great well. combo break. Just enough DI right there. Wow, the chase with the tech is amazing from Tilde. No. Oh. Yeah? I thought it was, could he have air dodged maybe? I don't know. That seemed like it was real close. Did he run out of deep breathing right there? Or was he still, did he still have deep breathing in effect? 
I think he just mixed them up just in general and they got the sweetest hit that back air right at the edge. Yeah, Tilde was very happy with that pop off. Dude, look at that. Winners finals here. That up throw in the back here. I think he's just like the, I, I think he's just excited to hit that, man. That percent that was so early and uh yeah, look how cozy that pop off. And there's the numbers losing uh fist bump. We we know it well. Let's get like can we get a replay on that? Come on. We we need to appreciate them. <laughs> uh, they're somehow all the same, yeah. yet they Ooh. still are unique. And here it is, Tilde pop off right here. That's 70% like, yeah, back that's, air. That's a good pop off. Like, Enhanced. I'd rate that pop off as like a solid uh, 8 out of 10. Numbers is just like, Boom. Yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> that, that, that's going in the credits later. <laughs> oh, yeah. Honestly, we should. Can somebody make a uh, like a compilation of every numbers lost fist bump and then just rapid fire? <laughs> create a little compilation? You know what I mean? Maybe set. What kind of music would that be set to? <laughs> it doesn't even matter. 